Welcome to Flash CS6 Tutorial 31 Randomly Moving Target This is a great tutorial if you want to make a game where you have a target that randomly moves around the stage and uh, we're going to start by opening new FL8 Action Script 3 I'm keeping the 55400 white background and the first thing I'm going to do is draw my what I'm calling my target it's going to be a triangle and I'm going to use my straight line tool right here I'm going to draw a line like that another one like that and one like that and as long as these cross each other then we'll be alright click on the edges here and delete them I'm just going to grab the corner here and pull that back a little bit and bring this peak down there pick up the bucket tool there's a bucket and it's this one down here and I'm going to leave mine green whatever color you want fill it pick up selection tool right click on it and come down here convert it to a symbol make sure movie clip is selected here make sure this center registration point and call it try capital T R I as in triangle underscore MC and copy that right click copy it okay and while it's highlighted I can see the blue around it open the properties panel it tells me it's the movie clip try and paste that in for an instance name call this layer try tri as in triangle lock it while it's highlighted come down here insert layer call it as as in action script select that first frame open the actions panel mine is here if you don't have your action panel here go up to window and click actions it'll open up and we're going to type in this code type 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 we're going to start by making three variables VAR turns purple DX colon number capital N U M B E R turns blue equals zero semicolon copy that paste it in change DX to DY paste it in again and if you want to do it that way we want variable target T A R G E T colon point capital P O I N T turns blue semicolon now we'll go through some code here and then we'll explain it to you as we go through the first thing is there's our first variable first variable target T A R G E T equals new N E W turns purple point capital P O I N T that's this new point we're making um, open bracket math period random capital M period small r turns blue open close bracket asterisk that's the um, uppercase of the number 8 it's the multiply multiply by 500 comma math random again capital M period small r turns blue open close bracket asterisk 400 close bracket semicolon this is creating for us a point on the stage and the point for the X is this one up to as big as 500 our stage is, is certainly going to handle that I think it's 550 and on our Y axis this is our Y axis we can go down as far as 400 which is taken in the consideration that our stages goes all the way down to 400 if you want to make that 375 that's up to you so we're creating that new target and we're going to trace it T-R-A-C-E turns blue open bracket target so copy target paste it in here close bracket semicolon so that's going to trace it on our output panel so we can see that we're generating this this number now we need an event listener 
So stage, S-T-A-G-E, small s, turns blue, period. Add event listener, small a, capital E, capital L, that turns blue. Open bracket, event, capital E, V-E-N-T, period. This is all capitals here. Enter underscore frame, E-N-T-E-R underscore F-R-A-M-E. There's a comma here, and I'm calling it follow ball, and um, that's just from a previous tutorial that I did. So I'm going to keep that name follow ball. Uh, close bracket semicolon and now I'm going to call up that function f-u-n-c-t-i-o-n turns purple copy this follow ball paste it in you could have called it something else that's up to you open bracket event small e-v-e-n-t turns blue colon event capital e-v-e-n-t turns blue close bracket colon void void and function are the same color now, this enter frame means every time we go through this frame, and we're going at the rate of 24 frames a second, so 24 times a second, this is going to be updating where our, our ship should be, this, this target. So here's the open curly bracket for this function, and down here is the closed curly bracket for this function. dx, that's that first variable we variable we made that is equal to try underscore MC period X X turns blue small X this is the physical position of the triangle minus target period X semicolon that's the uh, generated up here we will be generated that new point that's that target right there so it's going to find the difference of those two on the X axis copy that paste it in change this X here to a Y right here this can say the same except period Y period Y and this is doing the same for the for the Y axis so we have our both our our axes and from that we can figure out how to ship get that ship to go to the right direction so try underscore MC period X that's the location of the on this x-axis minus equals that means decrement and in decrement means to to take away from each time and in our case move into a certain direction dx that's the the distance between them divided by 50 semicolon copy that paste it in change the x to a y here and change the X to a Y here. And this takes into consideration that whether the answer is negative or positive here, that's why we put in this negative sign here. So that tells the the, tar the uh, triangle whether to move left and right and up or down. That's how that's calculated. This 50 is just a number I've chosen. And the smaller you make this number, the, the because it's the divisor, I believe they call it, the smaller you make this number, the faster this this uh, triangle will move. So I want to make sure, first of all, that I don't have any obvious faults and that I can format it. And I'm just going to give it a quick try. Control, test, movie, test. Obviously, when I made my movie clip, I didn't include this part of the movie clip. I just must have had, a, had the center highlighted. We can fix that. You probably are all right. And there's the two coordinates that I aimed for. It, my X is 107, my Y is 153, and that's approximately where that is on the stage. So let's do the, let's go back here. Go back here, and what we do is we'll go up to our drawing. This is what we'll do. We'll lock all the layers. We'll open the library for a minute. We'll select the triangle, and I can see there's no uh, stroke on it so we're alright with that Going back to scene one I'm going to unlock the triangle layer select it and I'm just going to click on the outside here no I want to click God, it's gonna be hard uh, let's make it 400% I just want that right there I'm not gonna be able to do that yes I know how to do it Back to scene one. 
move the movie clip there double click on this delete it and highlight the movie clip pick up your alignment tool right here if you don't have the alignment tool here it's going to be under window and make sure this one is centered here click and click here and click here and there's my triangle <laughs> you, you probably didn't have this problem because you probably selected the stroke as well either way we're back in business so now let's try it control test movie test and there it goes this time it's hitting for 114 on the X which is somewhere around here and 98 on the Y is somewhere around here okay I'm back on my actions panel and if you notice when we did that when the when the uh, the uh, triangle moved towards its, the target it just sort of drifted it didn't point we want that the front of it this the leading edge to sort of point towards the target that's been calculated so right here inside this function type 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 this code it's a variable VAR I'm calling it angle ANGLE equals math capital M A T H period arctan I call it arctan A T A N small a 2 uh, I've played around with it and it probably worked equally well without this but this seems to be the general consensus that all turns blue capital M on the math open bracket there's dy that's this here down here comma dx close bracket uh, forward slash which means divide math period pi m a t h capital m period pi is capital p capital i there's that multiplication sign again the asterisk 180 semicolon the reason you need this is uh, when this um, works this this arctan when this does this math this geometry it comes up with a value that is um, in radians and we need to do this math pi times 180 to turn it to, to, to degrees so now try underscore MC that's that triangle period rotation R O T A T I O N turns blue small r equals this angle that we calculated so copy angle paste it in and there's a semicolon okay see if this does anything control test movie test and you can see it pointed down towards this time the last time it didn't and it gets down there and it sort of just bounces around because it doesn't know what to do but as you can see it's around 78 on the X about 78 this way and our Y goes down to 400 and it's almost all the way down to there so that's working out for us okay so now we don't want it just sitting around there we want it to now come up with another target so it can move again otherwise it just sit there a couple enters I'm still have this last curly bracket closed curly bracket here and in here type 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 this code I'm gonna format it here variable VAR HYP as in hypotenuse equals math period SQ, SQRT. Okay, that's what it's called. We're coming up with the hypotenuse. So capital M, small s, with a period in the middle, turns blue. Open bracket. While the hypotenuse is the sums of the products, I believe we just call it. Yes. So open bracket, open bracket. DX, that's the distance between them on the x axis. Asterisk, multiply by dy or excuse me multiply dx close bracket dx times dx is dx squared so open bracket open bracket dx times dx close bracket plus the same thing for the y open bracket dy times dy close bracket close bracket semicolon that comes up with the hypotenuse for our new our new um, coordinates now it's saying if 
if the hypotenuse, if, open bracket, if turns purple, open bracket, hypotenuse, HYP, is less than or equal to 10, uh, close bracket. This means that the ship is getting within 10 pixels of the, of the original target point, and that's when we're deciding to change it. If you want to make it happen before that, you can make it a 20. If you want it to happen later on, you can make it down to zero, but it starts to get a bit iffy and bouncy. So I choose somewhere between 10 and five worked for me. Uh, open curly bracket, and we're just going to come up with two new random X's and Y's for our target. Target period X, X turns purple, or excuse me, X turns X turns blue equals math random, capital M period, small r, open close bracket, asterisk 500, semicolon. So that's going to pick a coordinate on the x-axis up to about 500. Copy that, paste it in, change the x to a y here, and change this to 400. And there's a closed curly bracket for the if, and there should be another closed curly bracket down here for this function way up here. So now, this should turn around and go back to the new coordinate. There it comes. As soon as it gets within 10 of that, it's going to turn around and go to the, another coordinate. It's going to go to that coordinate and turn around and go to another coordinate. Okay, I think there's one more thing I wanted to do. Um, come up to the top here and make another variable VAR call it speed S P E E E D colon N U M num N U M B E number equals I'm going to go with 50 for now all right that should be equals equals 50. I got a new variable. And where I'm going to put that speed is, so copy it, copy speed, and come down here and where we make this divisions, get rid of that 50 and paste in that word speed. So now it's going to run exactly the same way as it did the last time. It comes up, gets close, turns, and that's relatively slow. So now let's go back to that action script, and let's make this number smaller. So instead of changing these two, we just go up here and change speed here, and let's make it 20. Control, test, movie, test. Okay, you see that? And let's even make it faster. Let's make this 10. Okay. Let's just try once more before we before we finish. Uh Let's make this 5, which will make it really fast. And let's make this uh, 20. So now it's going to just, should just bounce around right, right quick. There. That would be hard to hit if you were trying to make that some kind of a, a target game. Anyway, hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.